The world is in an energy crisis. Just look at the headlines. Germany is running out of natural gas. It might not be able to heat itself through this winter. Looking at small businesses in places like Great Britain that suffered so much through the COVID-19 pandemic that were just barely recovering and are now seeing the cost to heat and power their facilities skyrocketing to the point that they need to shut down. We have a tyrannical government in Russia that is using its energy as a weapon to cut off Europe in order to prosecute its illegal war in Ukraine. Where have we seen this before? When in the past did dictators use their power over energy to control our country's responses to geopolitical challenges? We could look back to the 1970s when OPEC cut off the West's access to oil and gas. We had gas stations running out of gas, people lining up for hours just to get fuel, which had a tremendously damaging effect on the Western world. Now we're not seeing this right now here in Canada or in the United States, but in Europe, we could be looking in a very few short months at a very similar story. Yeah, so we are really in dire straits on the gas market that Germany prices have been skyrocketing. Consumers will soon feel this in their pockets as well as there's the new gas levy and so prices will be increased for end consumers as well. So given that dire energy situation we're seeing around the world, you would think that Canada would have a role to play. You would think that the Canadian government would be working overtime. You would think that the Prime Minister would be convening a cabinet emergency committee to find a way to fast track approvals so that we could get our liquefied natural gas to markets. After all, we do have the world's third most abundant reserves of oil and gas. You'd think all these things, but then you'd be wrong. After all, last week when the German Chancellor came to Canada seeking additional supplies of liquefied natural gas, the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, said he didn't think there was a business case for exporting natural gas from Canada. Explore ways to see if it makes sense to export LNG and if there's a business case for it to export LNG uh, directly to Europe. He either doesn't think there's a business case because he needs to have his head examined or he maliciously just doesn't want Canadian natural resources to get to world markets. This is either malicious or it's profound incompetence for our Prime Minister not to clearly see that our allies who are standing up to the Russians in their time of need, need access to our resources. And yet this Prime Minister doesn't seem to think that it's a priority. The situation is so bad here in Canada that just last month in August, there was a point where Alberta's natural gas went negative. We had to pay people to buy our natural gas. And that is precisely because under this Liberal government for the past seven years, we have seen delays in approval under Bill C-69, the No More Pipelines Bill. We have seen delays in approval. We have seen non-approvals. And this has resulted in our inability to get additional gas resources to market. The Russians know this. The Russians know that Canada did not have the resolve and they are using that leverage over us right now to prosecute this illegal war in Ukraine. It's shameful when you see our closest ally, the United States, going cap in hand to regimes, murderous regimes, looking to get extra barrels of oil. When we know that Canada is able to provide the solution very quickly with ethical sources of fuel. Now you might say to me, Dane, what about renewable energy? And renewable energy is great. We need to keep developing renewable energy, but we have been investing billions of dollars in renewable energy for the past number of decades, but we still need a stable source of fossil fuel energy to ensure that we can sustain our world economy. The way I look at it, we have two choices. Our energy can come from countries like us and our allies, or they can come from those tyrannical despots abroad who will use their energy as a bargaining chip in their wars of aggression. So let's bring this back to the 1970s oil shock. When we're talking about energy security, we're not just talking about ensuring our economic well-being in Canada. We're talking about our duty 
that we take away this weapon out of the hands of those that would use it to crush their enemies. Canada has a critical role to play. What we need now is access to Tidewater for our oil and gas resources so that we can get them to our allies, so we can stabilize their economies, so we can strengthen their resolve to stand firm in the face of tyrannical aggression. And under this current government, we're not stepping up. And that is why I'm so passionate about the issue of energy security. We can ensure that the world has access to the resources that it needs, and we can take a critical weapon out of the hands of countries like Russia that will use them to promote their aggressive agendas. We're gonna be watching this issue very carefully over the next number of months as we see how Europe is preparing for what could be a very difficult winter. I want you to leave comments below because I wanna hear what you think about this critical issue. I want this not to be a video that you're watching just to see what I'm saying, but I want it to be a discussion to hear what you think. So I just wanna say, thanks for watching.